On Sunday, Purdue knocked off Eastern Washington and Sharon Versip and the Boilermakers looking to kind of build momentum here as we head towards the conference stretch here after the holidays. Vera Jones and Lisa Byington with you. Well, on Sunday, they got a lot of production from three players, 47 of the 65 points coming from one Keys, Odin, and Harris. And it was a team effort, but these three absolutely stood out in so many different ways. And I really think that's what contributed to the win. win. Keys, first of all, just pushing the basketball. This is what Purdue wants to do. They want to attack on offense, and they attack the paint. Good job getting out in front. Meanwhile, once you start taking care of the paint, the perimeter is wide open. Odin did a great job of just knocking down threes with ease. You had to love watching that. And last but not least, I just think Ariana Harris brings so much to the basketball game. In the post, wide open. Again, just establishing position in the post using her long frame and her athleticism to score on the inside and let's not forget how many times she blocked shots just to my excitement so yeah a lot of fun to watch the today. sunday win for purdue as part of the basketball travelers invitational it was the last time that purdue plays before they head into conference play and we've heard sharon versa talk about it there is the good and the bad of purdue that we've right. seen here in the non-conference well there has been and and a different looking purdue because they really do shoot threes although they don't take a lot of them they're number one in conference shooting threes that's something exciting to pay attention to and defensively they're just learning to get back into what it is that purdue has always been known for the pressure defense turning teams over. If we see more of the good Purdue by the time we start conference play, they could definitely yeah. be a player here in the Big Ten this year. So let's talk about the other non-conference maybe surprises or some of the teams or individuals that has impressed you. Well, there's you can take your pick. I could just start rattling them off. I like Penn State. I've got to go with Iowa. How good is Iowa in shooting the basketball and just scoring 85 points per game roughly? They have done an outstanding job, probably a little better than most people have thought about. Um, Rutgers, mm -hmm. Tyler Scaife has come back. How good is Tyler Scaife? And how good is that Rutgers team, especially when you think about a very, very dismal performance last year? And then last but not least, uh, Nebraska is standing up. We weren't talking about them a whole lot, uh, but freshman Kate Kane has been pretty amazing along with Hannah Whiter, so they're getting going good too. Yeah, so we knew Ohio State would be good. We knew yep. Maryland would be good at some of those teams Michigan. maybe in the bottom half of the conference we weren't so sure about. We've got the conference season around the corner.